I am interested in you being inspired by the present moment to create, which is different to, I want to be an actor and I just want to be successful and get to the top. And, and, and there's a form of ego involved. That means you'll be always acting out and there'll be neurosis and there'll be paranoia and there'll be all kinds of things, this kind of fragility instead of vulnerability. And that will be all over your characters. I will see it energetically coming out of you. And chances of originality are reduced, right? So this sense of, can I actually be and allow my whole self be present in all its messiness, in all its chaos, and use that creatively in the moment to speak from, to express from. And that's what we've been doing in this work in the actor's practice, yeah? So that you build resiliency and resiliency is all about practice and process. You can't be resilient without having a process of your own that is to do with your own nurturing, your own growth, your own evolution, your own curiosity. So resiliency is not, uh, I, can, I, I can push through anything and I'm capable of coping with everything. That's not resiliency. Resiliency is the ability to recognize what is it I need in order to be my best self? And that's very individual. And that's your journey. You have to figure out what is it I need. And, and, that's, and that's a tricky one. And that has to be involved in every single uh, day that you have and in a small way. And the more you do that, um, the more you'll move towards peak performance the more you'll actually really be in alignment with your own life and art, life and art. Yeah. And they'll just flow more seamlessly in a sense.